At a Texas launch pad just across the border from Mexico, SpaceX moved the upper stage of its 40-story tall Starship into position atop its second stage. The rocket is now complete on its launch pad that overlooks the Gulf of Mexico. It already passed a major test before this. At its launch complex in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX lit up its super heavy booster. 31 of the 33 Raptor engines fired successfully during the February test. That was enough, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said, to get Starship to orbit. The next step will be the hold your breath moment, an orbital test flight of Starship, Musk's dream machine. After liftoff from the Boca Chica Starbase, the booster will propel the upper stage Starship called Ship 24 into orbit around the Earth. If all goes right, Ship 24 will orbit the Earth once and splash down in the Pacific near Hawaii. That would bring Musk one step closer. Granted, it's a very small step closer to his ultimate vision, colonizing Mars. Mars is a fixer-upper of a planet, and um, so it's, it's going to take some work to make it, make it easy to live there. But one day we could make Mars a planet like Earth. And Musk believes Starship is the spacecraft to do it. With its capability to put up to 250 metric tons in orbit, a fleet of Starships could head to and from Mars, bringing people and cargo to build infrastructure. If one tries to get the right order of magnitude, about a million tons. Um, hopefully it's not more than that. Uh, Starship is capable of doing that. It's capable of, of, of getting, getting a million tons to the surface of Mars. That lift muscle courtesy of the Super Heavy booster. Its 33 engines can generate up to 17 million pounds of thrust, Two, nearly one. double NASA's new SLS rocket. And lift off of Artemis 1. SLS can get astronauts to the moon and even Mars, but only the Orion spacecraft is reusable. SpaceX is planning for both spacecraft and booster to be reusable. And every time NASA launches SLS, it will cost $4 billion, according to government auditors who call that unsustainable. Musk's projections for a Starship launch? It may be as little as a few million dollars per flight. Um, maybe even as low as a million dollars per flight. So this is crazy. These are crazy low numbers uh, by space standards. Cra crazy low. Definitely crazy low, at least in the near term. Frank DeBello, who heads Space Florida, the state's economic development agency, believes ultimately Starship will be a game changer. I think it'll have a profound effect on not only uh, humankind's ability to uh, leap into uh, greater levels of space exploration, earlier than we had planned, uh, but it's going to have a dramatic impact on the economics of spaceflight, which is something that we really care about from Florida. And in the near term, NASA has contracted with SpaceX to develop a lunar lander version of Starship to ferry astronauts to the surface of the moon as soon as 2025. Perhaps sooner than that, Starship could circle the moon on a one-week mission, carrying Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mazawa and eight crew members he chose. I choose to go to the moon. Yeah. yeah. Finally, I can say, I'm very glad. It's taken a decade of design and development to get to this point. As with any new spacecraft, there were failures along the way. Suborbital flight tests of upper stage prototypes didn't go well. Musk himself has cautioned against over optimism regarding the upcoming flight test. But if nothing else, it will be one of the most dramatic events in the history of space flight. For my radar, I'm John Zarella.
follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.